I know I've said this before, I'm going to say it again because it's worth saying. Part of what I enjoy about this game so much is just enjoying this world, you know? It's such a neat world. It's all, it's, and I've said this before too, <laughs> it's almost too damn good for a factory building game. I mean, seriously. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to take a break from working on factory stuff, and we're going to go exploring. We haven't done an exploration episode in quite some time. Um, so I figured we'd just kind of, you know, break things up a little bit uh, with some exploring, see if we can go find some more hard drives and some more uh, power slugs. And then um, in the next episode, we will come back and get back to work here and get this massive... Uh, heavy modular frames a factory set up um it's actually only been maybe 30 well probably about an hour uh since i le left you guys in the last episode and if you look in the upper right hand corner you can see we now have 340 of 500 of our modular engines already loaded into the space elevator so that's working well uh, we'll let that keep running and it'll probably possibly be done or at least very close to being done by the end of this episode all right, so yeah, let's uh, let's go do some exploring. Have a little bit of fun. I want to make sure I've got all the stuff on me that I need on me, and all this, and the stuff that I don't need. Um, I suppose it would behoove us to take a little bit of everything, just because you know if we run into a hard drive, it might want something weird. Now you know, speaking of which, if we look at the map, um, one of these drives out here needed. Yeah, see, that would need us needed a high-speed connector, and we still can't make that. At least I don't think we can. Do we have such a thing in here as high-speed connector? We don't. Okay, so that's probably... We have to wait until a later tier. But uh, we should probably take with us all of the things that um, we do... You know, at least one stack of everything that we can take in case, you know, hard drive requires some of that. Uh, all right, so let me get my inventory uh, in order. And I also want to make sure we take a little bit of extra packaged fuel with us for our vehicle. The nice thing about the packaged fuel, if you guys didn't see my episode where we did a little test, is that this lasts a hell of a lot longer than, you know, than coal does or, or um, you know, solid biomass and all that stuff. Oh, the other thing, yeah, I want to also maybe take an extra container of solid, or no, liquid biofuel. Maybe we'll have two of those just because we'll probably be using those a little bit more than we normally would. Okay, so we'll load that up and then I'll make sure I have an extra stack. All right, so anyway, let me get my inventory all sorted and then uh, we'll go out and do some exploration. Should be fun. All right, guys, we have uh, one of every product in our inventory um, that we can currently make, except for the computers. Uh, I guess we should probably grab those, too. Do I have anything in here? We have supercomputers. Uh, oh, I do have seven high-speed connectors. Hmm. I wonder how many... I wonder how many that um, that one wanted and a crystal oscillator. Might not be a bad idea to make a couple of those too. Just in case they might want some. So let, let me make like 10 of the oscillators and we'll just grab those high speed connectors. And if we happen to go back to that area, which I'm not sure if we will or not, we may have enough to unlock that hard drive. Okay. Let's get going here. Um, the first place I actually want to go is just right up the road here. Uh, I've driven past this, um, um, you know, or hypertube to pass this place a bazillion times. And it, there's a yellow slug over there, and it also looks to me like that might be a cave system, too. 
All right, so what we're going to do is just package this up and take it with us. But yeah, it's just right over here. So let's go check this out. There's our truck working away. I do have um, two stacks of, of rebar ammo and one stack, full stack of uh, shatter rebar ammo. All right, so already we've got bad bads up here we got to deal with. I think I'm going to um, gather barrel nuts, too. Yeah, we got inventory space. Just because I used a bunch of those to replenish my inhalers, and I don't have a ton of them. Of course, I've got a bunch of different recipes for inhalers, but the barrel nut ones seem to be the, the cheapest. Uh, we don't need that quartz. We could go up that way, but that might lead to a different location. So let's just go this way. Grab that. We'll get our yellow power slug. All right. Wasn't there a... Yeah, I was going to say, I think there's another... Uh, did we get it? Oh, we got more bugs. They're coming from that pod right there. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to hit that from up here, so let's move down this way. It's kind of in a very well-hidden spot. All right, let's deal with these guys first, and then we'll... Well, that wasn't the best job of dealing with them. Oh, shit. Did we get them all? I think so. All right. I don't know if this is a... Hey, there's, there's a doggo. I don't know if this is a cave so much as it's just a... Big canyon with lots of overhangs. It is kind of neat in here, though. I've never been in here. Uh, can we make it up there? I think we can. So nice having the jetpack now. There's a blue slug over that way. Lizard doggo. Oh. Is there... Is there a hard drive around here? Motors, screws, plates, computers, cables. Hmm. I mean, usually when that stuff is around, that means there's a hard drive somewhere. Let's keep looking. There's almost like a path here, sort of, sort of, kind of. There's a blue slug way the hell up there. I don't, I, I don't know. don't think this is a place we're supposed to be going into. Maybe. Yeah, that doesn't look like a place we're supposed to be. Okay. Well, maybe that was just some random shit, but I don't remember seeing that before. It's usually, that usually means there's a hard drive around, but where in the world it would be, I don't know. Huh. Very interesting. Okay. Well, let's keep moving further in to this place. I don't... I don't know if I'm going to go up to that blue slug. We'll go after this one over here, though. Okay. Let's take these guys out. Oh, man, I wish we had hotkeys for these things.
This is crazy in here. Uh, can we hit you? Yeah, we can. Look at that. Nice. Those guys are coming after us now, though. Don't knock me off my perch. That's rude. All right, let's see y'all. That's really cool looking through here. I, I think there are some uh, quartz deposits somewhere in this cave or in this area because I've seen them on the map, but I haven't seen them on the surface. Bacon mushroom. We'll get the power slugs that are easy to get to. The ones that are going to require me to build a, a huge... Is that a... Oh, shit. Is that a yellow? It might be worth going after a yellow. All right. Let's... um. Let's top off here. We're going to have to take a couple hits here to get this thing out of here, I think. There we go. Okay. Um, if that's a yellow slug, in fact, yeah, I'm sure it is. It probably would be worth trying to get to it. Why don't we do this? Let's drop down here and get the giblets. Where'd they go? Oh, they're right here. Might as well go over here and get this bacon mushroom as well. A couple bacon mushrooms. Just growing right out of stone. Because that's what bacon mushrooms do. In case you guys didn't know that. Now you do. Because I'm a bacon mushroomologist. Or actually, maybe it's an otanist. Like, you know, a botanist. I don't know. Um, Alright, so there's blue slug up there. That one should be pretty easy to get to. Let's make sure we have a full charge. And I might try and do a little launch thing too. Because that helps. So nice to have a jetpack for this kind of stuff now. It'll be even better when we can hover. There's some raspberries. Okay, um, I guess we'll go down here, because why not? More stuff. What is this, like the doggo camp or something? A whole bunch of them around here. It's almost like um, this place has the same stuff that the other place did. Guess that's it. We should probably go back and say hi to our, our doggo friend sometime in the Crater Lake area. Yeah, that just keeps going that way. Um, if we're going to go after that yellow power slug, we need to probably do it before we get too far away from this area. Just looking to see what else is over here. Okay. Lots of pale berries. Maybe that's why all the doggos are over here. Is there anything down here that we missed? It's 
There's another little passageway going that direction. Don't really see anything significant in here, though. Okay, that yellow slug was way the hell up there somewhere. So let's get up here. If we're going to go after the yellow slug, we might as well try and get the blue one too. I'd like to try and do as much as I can with just jetpacking as opposed to building a bunch of foundations. Okay, there's the yellow slug over that way. This is so cool in here. We'd be able to see a little bit better if I turned off global illumination, but what's the fun in that? We better ramp up to that one. Turn that on to zoop. Right, we got you, man. Okay, so the yellow slug is over that way. Since we're up high, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put those out. And we'll just kind of clean up behind us as we go here. More pale berries over here. I just love this world. More shit! And a doggo way up on a cliff. How'd you get up here, buddy? And how are you going to get off, more importantly? Guess that answers that question. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. I thought it was funny anyway. Uh, more shit. More stuff to loot here. Uh, oh, wow. Look at all that down there. Computers, screws... Frames, wire, motors. And more computers. Oh, not enough space, it says. Right, okay. Well, we're going to have to ditch some stuff. We don't need this, of course. Turn my AC on. Oh, boy. Uh, we don't need the flowers. And... Hmm. The same, the usual problem that we have, right? I think I'm going to ditch the steel pipes. I'm going to ditch the plates because we've got tons of them. I'm not going to ditch the heavy modular frames. No way, no how, man. But I will ditch the copper wire because easy, easy stuff to get. Have lots of it. Hmm. Maybe even the normal modular frames. Well, we don't need all these screws, my goodness. I should just stop picking that shit up, actually. It just, you know, it's just a habit. <laughs> we got a loot. All right, that gave, gave us a little bit of space. Definitely want the computers. Those, those look like circuit ports, though. I mean, it's like they use the same model. Is that a bug or something? Hey, man, I... I'd like try and make you my friend, but I don't know how to get you out of here. Alright, I guess we're done here. Got all of those berries. 
so cool, man. That's that's part of I know I know I've said this before I'm gonna say it again because it's worth saying. Part of what I enjoy about this game so much is just enjoying this world. You know, it's such a neat world. It's all it's and I've said this before too. <laughs> it's almost too damn good for a factory building game. I mean seriously. I hope the I hope the story mode, you know, really it is really good and it, you know, just kind of fleshes out the world a little more and stuff too. Let's take all of, whoops, try, try that again, there we go, take all that stuff down. All right, now, where is that yellow slug at? I can't, uh, I can't really tell from here, so all right, let's go back here for a minute. Hmm. Oh, it's up there. Okay. We just couldn't see it from down here. I wonder if I can... There is a ledge up there. But it's kind of high. So maybe what we'll do is let's dismantle to here. And we'll ramp up. Oh, get on the end there. There you go. We'll ramp up enough to get to the ledge. And if we run out of fuel, you know, we don't fall all the way down. Which probably kill us. Well, if we have whole, full health, actually it doesn't kill you. It takes you down to a half a health. The first time. Get up on this thing. Oh, there's a blue slug over there. Okay. Um, where'd the yellow slug go? Can't see it again. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So, um, let's grab this blue slug. I love using the power shards for our temporary setups, but I, I try and avoid, well, not not completely avoid, but I, I try not to unless it just makes sense to use them for permanent installations. All right, let's pick this stuff up. Hopefully we don't fall. Is that all of them? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Um, I can't see very well because all these bushes are in my face. There's the yellow slug. And look how high up we are. That's just crazy. And another yellow slug. Very good. Okay, so... Uh, the next question is, where do we go from here? We could drop back down and just kind of keep working our way through the cavern, I suppose. Why don't we do that? Unless we find more stuff. These are like rubble piles. Very interesting. I wonder how they got here. I'm, I'm going to avoid the screws and the copper wire, but we will take circuit boards, computers, that kind of thing. And again, I just find it really interesting that there's so many doggos in here. We were already down there. Okay, let's go down this way.
Okay, so this leads to here. It goes down to the beach. There are a lot of bad guys down here, though. But I don't see anything that they may be guarding. We're just kind of right below our, our high road there, too. All right, let's just avoid them and go back this way. Does this go anywhere significant? It's just kind of like a crack, I guess. All right, that looks like a place we're not supposed to go, so let's not do that. Just in case we got stuck. More berries. Let's keep going this direction. I'm hoping that we'll eventually find where those quartz nodes are, just so I know where they are. Especially knowing that the ones that we're currently using are going to be taken away in 1.0. You know what, though? The more I think about it... I'm going to look at the map here for a minute. We could even... Let's just scan for those. I think those are kind of more up in this area, but that this cave system we're in could go that direction. Yeah, see? They're actually not that far from here. And they're pure as well. We are spelunky now, baby. Okay, this is really shallow. Well, it's not that shallow. Cool. I killed him before he could pop his badness. Oh, spiders. He managed to get his badness out. Those are just little spiders. But where there are little spiders, there are also sometimes big spiders. I'm not too worried about little spiders. Okay, let's get the giblets. Come on, game. Give us frickin' keyboard shortcuts for our equipment. So fucking irritating. And doesn't make sense either. You know, like, maybe... A control 1, Control 2, Control 3, that kind of idea. This is such a wonderful game, but there's... There's always just... You know, in any game I've ever played, there's always... Some stupid design decision that the devs made that just doesn't make sense. At least not to me. And that's one of them. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, and these caves are really dark when you have global illumination on. But that, you know, that's more realistic too, of course. I'm okay with that. We got a good light, so. I hear something big thumping around. <laughs> you know, like a big hog. That kind of big. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's 
kind of the same area we, we were in before and we just went around the backside or not? It seems to me like it could be. You know, just looking back that direction, well, it's kind of looking down through in here. That might be a different route. Oh, man, it's just so cool in here. What if you fell down through those holes, you know? Not good. Let's do another scan uh, for that sulfur, or not sulfur, uh, quartz. It's going to be to the east-ish of us. Okay, so it's a fair jaunt that way. Yeah, that, that direction looks like the way we came. So that means this direction is is new territory. So let's go this way. Actually, is it though? Didn't we pull a blue, sl a blue slug off of here? Hmm. I don't know. There's a pale berry that direction. I should have probably been paying a little more attention to my heading. But I know that that's west, and west is where we came from, so that's northeast. All right, let's go over here. Okay, we definitely haven't been here because I didn't... Oh, no, we have. Sometimes the pale berries don't look like they've been picked. So do we go through here? That would go to the north. We missed this, these pale berries. It's weird that they have that kind of like hex thingy going on there. I don't... I don't know if we came this way or not. I think we did. I think we came through here. That's where I said the water was shallow and we killed the spiders. So that's going west. Okay, we want to go east. East-ish. Let's recharge our jetpack here. This is north, and it's for forcing us to go back west. But wherever we can, let's keep trying to go east. Well, hmm. Maybe we can't go any further east than this. At least not from this direction. This is just a dead end here. Okay, well, I'm, um, just, okay, this goes east. But wait, wait, no, we already came this way, though, and it wraps back around to the west again. All right, I'm going to go back this way because I thought there was... Maybe another passage. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, that goes to the north. We came through here, I believe. I'm starting to think that this is the extent of this cavern. And the quartz is probably in a different cavern. Because it's, it's just too far away from here, and I'm not seeing any passageways uh, to go east from here. All right. Well, if that's the case, then let's go ahead and get on out of here and we'll approach it from a different direction. 
very neat looking in here though, I have to say. This is another rubble pile because I would not have left those computers there. I mean, as valuable hmm, as motors are, we've got like a full thingy of them. I'll tell you what, let's, how much space do I have? Let's loot the more valuable things. I'm going to leave all this stuff here. And I'll, I'll stop back by the base and, and kind of reset my inventory. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll meet you up uh, in the red jungle. And then we'll proceed from there. All right, guys, while we're here, uh, we have our, our thousand circuit boards and then some. So we're going to shut this operation down. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to leave it sit there for now until our modular engine's completely finished. We have 50 more of those to go. And I'm just waiting for um, everything to empty out of here. And then we'll hook this up and bring a thousand circuit boards into here. And then the rest of them I'll just actually hang on to. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's also take a look at our... Uh, our automated wire um, that's actually over here we need 1500 of those and we oh no one here okay so we've got almost a thousand so that's that's working but still not quite there yet very good Let's see, there are some things up there we could do. Um, yeah, let's head up top. Oh, actually, there's a purple slug there. Um, we could parachute back down, or, whoa, jet, uh, jet pack back down there, I suppose. So let's head over on, along that ridge. I know there's at least one hard drive up there, I believe. And we'll grab that in the purple slug. I haven't actually been up here in a while. I've been so busy working at the main factory. Uh, there's a yellow slug over there, too. And I believe there's some critters and there are some... Uh, there's radiation. But we could probably handle the radiation if we just hurry. I don't suppose the gas mask protects against radiation, does it? Wouldn't think so. Wouldn't make sense for that to be the case. Yeah, and there's a big... There's a big hog down there. And some little guys, too. Alright, I got an idea. We seem to be able to get close to, <coughs> to that radiation without ill effect maybe it's the way the wind's blowing yeah see the problem is if I shoot these guys from here though they're gonna come underneath me and I'm not gonna be able to see them very well there's a blue slug way on that cliff down there I mean I guess we could just try and kamikaze in there and then run like hell I like that plan let's do it oh shit <laughs> Dude, so uncool. All right. Let's try that again. Um, in the meantime, no way. You're a good shot, dude. Yeah, see that? That's hitting the side of the thing. Okay, let's... Hey, come on. You can't hit me through that. That is hacks. Total hacks. Oh, we're back in the radiation.
He doesn't know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, come back this way, man. Got him. All right, that takes care of one of them. That one's too far away. All right, let's try it again. Let's just see if we can ninja down here and grab it real quick. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yes, we got it. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, we want to go back that direction now. Ow. Oh, you know what? There's also... Somewhere around here. Uh, I know there's a purple slug down in a cave underneath this area. But it's guarded by like three or four big spiders. Like the most dangerous dudes. You know, eventually we'll be able to get the rifle and a little bit better firepower than we currently have. So we might want to wait... Well, speaking of which. Alright. Can he get up here? He can jump as a thing. We're shooting him in the ass. Okay, there's a yellow slug there. Um, I thought there were two big spiders down here, though. Well, I'm not seeing the other one, so... Wait, do we get his stuff? We don't care about those. There we go. Alright, let's just be on our guard. I'm gonna... S Whoops. Hold on. I'm gonna s switch to shotgun mode. I must be thinking about a different spot, because... Yeah, it might be further that way, where I saw a yellow slug just right off our road, but it had two big spiders guarding it. Oh, hey. I see purple slug stuff down there. All right, maybe we'll come back to that. Let's go down through here. I want to go out on this ridge and get all... In fact, I've never actually been over here. It's kind of neat. There's more uranium over there, so I've got to be careful about that. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to look up something. Okay, I just looked it up, and uh, we can get a hazmat suit in Tier 7 to protect us from radiation, so... The gas mask does not do that, and I I didn't expect that it would either, but I just wanted to check. You never know. All right. I've never actually been out on this shelf, and it looks like there's a, a bauxite deposit right there, too. And it's guarded by bad bats. Okay. Um, let's deal with these essays. that shot. Okay, we got the plasma spitter. And we're just kind of far enough away to where these guys don't know really where we are. Which is a little silly. They should be able to detect us from this far away. I mean, I'm not saying I want to get et or anything, but I want things to be somewhat realistic, too. Okay. So since we cheese those other ones, let's go in and have a, some balls for this one.
Jeez Louise. Guess I'm just not close enough. Close range shotgun. Got him, finally. Okay, let's go back to normal. This is a pure bauxite, nice. There's enough space up here to where we could probably... Uh, oh, there's a hard drive down there too. We could probably make like a, just a little processing facility for the bauxite without, without necessarily having to bring the raw ore back to our base anyway. All right, we got a big plasma spitter over here. Let's make sure our jetpack's fully charged. He's the, the mortar guy. Don't be throwing your gun away. Got him. Okay, what do we got here? We got some computers. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got two of the three. These bastards are harder to hit than you might think. At least that's my excuse. We will definitely take the heavy modular frames. Oh, boy. Can I hit him from here is the question. Yes, I can. Got it. Is that all of them? Circuit boards. See, now the circuit boards, well, I can't really get around to see the other end of it, but they look a lot like the computers. What do you need? Needs three heat sinks. I don't even know what the hell a heat sink is. I mean, I know what it is <laughs> in real life, but not in this game. All right. Well, we're not getting this one anytime soon. What we'll do, uh, like we did before, is we'll mark it uh, with heat sinks. <clears throat> oh, that sucks, man. We went to all that trouble to come out here. That's all right. Okay, so let's go here. And... Um, Just using these map markers. Oh, wait a second. No, these are the... How do I delete that? Highlight stamp, remove stamp. What? I must have put two. We got to use these if we want to actually label it. All right. Select icon. We'll use this stamp. Select image. And this is uh, HD three heat sinks. Apply. I wish I would have written down the number of high speed. Con <sighs> that needs 256 megawatts of power. Uh, where was that one? Oh, it was way over here. I should have, you know, uh, labeled it with the number uh, that we needed, but I didn't. So. All right, what is this? See, that's the, that's a computer. Okay, look. See how this looks? All right. Kind of looks a little bit like a an adapter card. Double circuit boards, a couple of ports, and some connectors there. If we drop the circuit boards, isn't that the exact same model? Oh. Okay, so now now the computer has a different model, but when I pick it up off the ground, it uses the circuit board model. 
So that, that must be a little minor bug in the game. I'm guessing. Okay, well, let's head to this other hard drive then. Maybe we can luck out and access that. Um, and we also want to go down there and get that purple slug too. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's go do this first. Oh, we got a bad bad right here. We got two bad bats. This is a little bad bad. Let's deal with the little bad bad first. Oh shit. Yeah, you can wander off the edge of the cliff if you want to. That's fine with me. All right, he's probably not going to mess with us. Is that slug going to continue floating in the air after we blow this up? Probably. That's right. That's what we got ladders for. Okay. I think I'm going to blow all of these up just because I'm tired of looking at their poison gas from down below. And because it's fun. I mean, who doesn't like to use explosives when you have explosives to use? More poison gas. I wonder if I can hover long enough to grab this. Let's find out. Oh, can I stand on it? I can. <laughs> Look at that. Standing on the back of a purple slug. Who'd have thunk? Okay, so we need to get uh, somewhere. Where was that hard drive at? Oh, maybe it's higher up than here. Um, all right. Uh, can we make that jump? Maybe. Well, not if I start like that. <laughs> Let's try that again. Come on, man. What the hell? Oh, it's because I'm going uphill. It's not let it's not gonna let me do the you know the usual, right? I wonder if I can do it from here. There we go. Okay. I wonder if that hard, hard drive was up on that cliff up there. This is really cool. Well, all right. I suppose if we want to get that high up again, we might need to take our our tube up. Oh, that's right. There's a purple slug in there uh, with that big spider that killed me in some of the very early episodes. We ought to go get that thing, too. All right, let's go up here. Yeah, there's the hard drive up above there. I guess there's a pathway around there too, but why take a pathway when you can do this? Oh, is it possible that we can make it over here? If I just do little bursts, I think we can. Look at that. Wow, you can really go a long ways if you do controlled bursts. Okay, let's get over to here. We got a blue slug over here. Whoa. Okay. Stop. 
Slow down. Let's grab you. Love the view. Alright, now we want to... There's a gap there. Let's take out the bees. Hatchers, I guess, is what they're actually called. How did we miss that? Get a... Get, get a... What the hell, man? Kill it. There. Got him. Okay, now... We have a critter? Yeah, we got we just got a little plasma spitter. He's not a big deal. Okay, those do say circuit ports. I'm not gonna pick up the plating or the wire. Those also say circuit ports. I'm not gonna pick up the screws either. Alright, this is a freebie. Or, well, no, I guess it isn't. It takes 10 biofuel. We can handle that. Excellent. Feels like it's been a long time since we've done, done that. Found a hard drive to scan. It's been a while. We've been doing a lot of building lately. That's what you do in this game. Okay, we'll get these giblets here. And now let's go back down to that cave and get that purple slug that's down in there. Oh, there's a blue slug. Let's go after that too. Pick some barrel nuts while we're up here too. Rumor has it that they taste like cashews. In case you guys didn't know that. I like cashews. I like peanuts too. I like almonds. I don't like those guys. Boom, baby. What's up here? All oh, right, this leads to that other purple slug that we saw down here. And probably some bad bats. Okay, we've got some hatchers, but I'm not seeing anything worse than that. That water looks pretty shallow. Oh, yeah. We can just walk in here. Okay, those guys ran out of time to live. This is really neat up here. Did we get all the... I was going to say, I thought there was at least one more... Hatcher stuff. Okay. 
There it is. Boom, baby. Okay. Um... Let's go through here. Got a couple nasty plants. Let's see if we can just get away from them. Got another big canyon way down there. kinds of bacon plants. Is this going to go down in to the cavern we need to... There's a yellow. We need to go into anyways to get that purple. Oh, shit. Alright, let's just melee this. And we'll do the same here. See a spider down there. Oh, he moves right when I pull the trigger. Good on him. Of course, it ultimately didn't do him a damn bit of good, but what can you do? Wow, this is cool back in here. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. Can we pick this? Yes, we can. Um, I could grab a little bit more mycelia. Why not? How much room do I have? Ooh, not a lot. I'm not completely out, but I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more. That's just not super easy to come by. Not super difficult either, but there you have it. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay. I just feel like you could spend... S I, I mean, there there is hours and hours of just pure exploration to do on this map. And that's a really good thing, too, because, you know, it, uh, you know, take our situation, for example. I do a few episodes where we do building and do the factory thing. Then we need to take a break and go do something else fun for a while. And we have this awesome world to explore. And that really goes way the hell back in there too, doesn't it? Okay, it's getting... We're getting away from that last purple slug I want to get A and B. We are also kind of running out of time here. So let's just go... We'll save this cavern for another time. So let's just go get that final purple slug and then we're going to wrap it up here. Do these give mycelia too? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can cut them with the saw, but I'm not going to do that right now. And we'll let that guy live for now. I think that's the cave we want to go into that has the purple. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Yeah. It's the one that kind of has that formation, uh, rock formation that looks like a spider. Okay, let's blow these poison plants up, and that dude did respawn, so he's in here somewhere. In fact, you know what? Let's top off. And I think I'm also going to go into shotgun mode, too. Okay. There he is. Search is done. Got his ass. Okay. 
Alright, I think he's the only one in here. At least he was last time. So let's clear this place up. Does that not look like a petrified spider up there? Stinger? I think so. Alright, I think that gets rid of all of the poison plants. And we'll get ourselves another purple. Beautiful. Does this go anywhere? Nope, it doesn't look like it. That is trippy, man. Petrified uh, spider stinger thingies. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. We will definitely, definitely do more exploration episodes. I mean, if you think about it, we still have so much more of this map to explore that we haven't, you know, that we haven't covered. So, yeah, we'll just kind of keep following the same MO. I guess we'll grab this. Breaking news from Earth. You know, it kind of... Since we've decided we're going to start over anyways, I guess there's not much point in, in actually collecting those things. But, whatever. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll kind of just keep following that MO where we'll do a few episodes of factory stuff and building and all that. And then we'll take a break every once in a while and just keep exploring this awesome map. And having some fun doing it, getting some hard drives, getting some more power slugs, and that sort of thing. But I think I'm going to just run along the beach on foot for the trip home. Uh, well, I guess I've already been through here anyway, so there isn't really going to be... The barrel nuts will respawn, so I can get some barrel nuts and berries. But I'll do that off camera. So thanks everybody for wa oh shit, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the very next episode. Come here. Gotcha. See ya.